Hey guys, Smelling Roses here. Today I'm in a very remote area of eastern Pennsylvania County. I'm actually just a couple of miles from the Halifax County line. I'm very near a place called Markham, a community called Riceville. Chalk Level is not far from here. Uh, those are all names of places that you will have a hard time finding on a map, but those of us local to the area know where they are. This is eastern Pennsylvania County in southern Virginia, and that's really all I'm going to say about it because we are on private property today, and I do have permission to access this land. Off in that direction is the Bannister River. It flows through the property here. This uh, landowner has approximately 1,000 acres here in this area, perhaps a little bit more. It's mostly forested with some farmland, and as you can see, it's a very isolated area. The Bannister River is one of the more prominent rivers here in Pennsylvania County in southern Virginia. It does ultimately flow into the Dan River. Now I'm going to try to show you three Native American dams today. Uh, I know I have permission for the first one. The second one I'm not sure about, but we're going to try to check it out. And then the third one we can see from a highway bridge at a separate location uh, just three or four miles downstream from here. So let's get going. We're going to follow the river and go check it out. All right, guys, the river is just over there. I wanted to stay along the banks of the river, but uh, it was just so muddy and soft down there. I kept slipping, slipping in the mud and... In some areas, the banks are very steep. Alright guys, you can see the banks of the river here are very steep. And I really can't get any closer to the edge of the water, but this is actually a pretty good viewpoint here. You can see out there the distinct formation of the Native American stone dam. This fish weir is probably hundreds of years old. I don't know exactly how old it is, but it's certainly centuries old. And it's no doubt been affected by, you know, by the river over the centuries and possibly tampering by other modern humans. But you can still see the distinct shape of the dam and centuries ago Native Americans would have built this dam here and it would have formed like a V shape and what they were doing was slowing down the river damming up the river you can see it's very deep and calm back back uh, behind the dam and they would have had some type of structure built across the dam probably made out of small trees and saplings and they constructed it in a v-shape so that fish swimming upstream could continue upstream unimpeded but any fish coming downstream would be captured in their traps which most likely would have been made out of straw or small saplings as i mentioned and that's how they would collect fish from the river there are quite a few known and documented Native American fish weirs still preserved, especially here on the Bannister River, also along Pig River, which is in western Pennsylvania County. There are a number of these Native American stone structures that have survived. However, they are difficult to visit because, as I mentioned before, most of them are located along private property, so access can be difficult. Here we are just downstream from the stone dam. Just another nice view here of the Bannister River. Beautiful day today. Alright guys, if I sound like I'm out of breath, it's because I am. Climbing this very steep slope here. No, you guys can't tell in the video how steep it is. I was told that if I found the fish weir and then went uphill from there, 
uh, we would find some interesting cliffs and rock formations. So we're going to go up this hill and see what we find. I believe are the cliffs that I was told about. Probably doesn't look like much in the video. It's really overgrown with a lot of vines. But you can see multiple layers of rock here. And this is a very old structure. The most famous fossil ever discovered here in Pennsylvania County predates the dinosaurs. I don't remember the name of the species that was discovered or how old it is, but it was found in this rock formation here. The, sl the slope is very steep here and there are a lot of loose rocks and loose leaves, vines as well. So I'm going to have to maneuver around here very cautiously, but I'm going to try to take you around and see what we can find in these rocks. Again, I know it's probably not showing up very well in the video, but it's a pretty cool rock formation here. Let's see what I was talking about, how the cliff is covered with all kinds of vines. It's really neat here. Very slow go getting through here. You can see many layers of different kinds of rocks. A little bit of water leaching out from a crack there under this ledge. Not sure how much further this continues in that direction. There appears to be perhaps some kind of little small fox den, little small cave right up there. And I'm looking at this wash right here. We may be able to climb up through that wash. I'm not sure. It's very steep. Okay guys, so I was trying to get up through there. That's the wash I showed you from down below. And I'm pretty sure I can get up there, but getting back down might be a little tricky. And I am up here alone, so safety first. It's very steep, it's nearly vertical, and very slippery up here. And with the foliage still on the trees, we're not going to get any kind of view much from the top of the ridge anyway. So I think I'm going to make my way back down. Alright guys, so we have arrived to site number two. That is the highway bridge I was telling you guys about. And we are again at the Bannister River. And this is just a couple of miles, maybe two or three miles down river from where we were earlier. And there is actually another Native American stone bridge, or stone dam rather, here in this site. And it's a rather large one, but unfortunately we cannot view it from this vantage point so i think we're going to have to walk up on the bridge and look down on the river from there it's very clearly visible from the bridge okay guys i'm not sure how well you can see it in the video but you can kind of make out some rocks in a v shape there in that area it's barely noticeable but i am told that this is a documented native american fish weir And if you look closely, you can see that it does appear that the rocks are methodically arranged in a straight line there. Alright 
right guys so unfortunately it turns out that the final site that I wanted to show you the third fish weir in this area was inaccessible today and that was the largest one of the three but maybe we'll come back and take a look at that another day Native Americans were very active in Pennsylvania County in the distant past it's very common to find arrowheads and pottery and other artifacts of course the fish weir that we saw today there are also some earthen mounds in the county that are believed to be Native American structures so there's plenty of stuff to show you on another day uh, if you guys are interested in seeing more of that type of stuff hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching as always I appreciate all your views and support Thanks a lot, guys, and I'll see you on the trail.